War Breaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is one of my newest Sanderson reads. I also read Elantris. And I thoroughly enjoyed this one. I really, really liked it. I had some issues, and I'll go through them here. But this is my general spoiler-free for War Breaker. So, I really did like this book. I did enjoy it a lot, and I, uh, I thought it was pretty good, and I burned through it pretty quickly. Even though I didn't get to have much time to read this, I was, uh, like, a much time, but whenever I did, I felt like, I was like, wow, like, like, th those pages went by, like, they didn't feel, like, that long, but it was fun. It was really fun reading, and I really just like the concept of having two sisters, Siri and Vivienne, I don't even know how to pronounce her name, Viv, like, Vienna, or something like that. I can't, I'm terrible at pronunciation, guys, I'm sorry about that. It's one of my weaknesses, so, <laughs> um... Uh, so that was basically they're having like a storyline is going through that storyline <clears throat> and you can kind of see it's cool because in some of his other books he'll do different POVs like especially Way of Kings a lot of these characters did not know each other had no connection but these people are sisters and you can see the connection between them and what's what's going to go on and that's uh, what that's what I really really liked about it because one of my problems with Way of Kings was that like these the people like were all in their different time zones, but obviously Way of Kings is like one of my favorite books of all time. So, I'm not gonna really say more bad things about it. But <laughs> I really liked Warbreaker in that sense, and the characters were very strong. And it's it's not as action packed. It's action packed, but it's not as action packed as Sander, my other Sanderson experiences. It's very bright and colorful. It's very good with the characters. It's less pip. It's less peppy. It's um different. It's different from what Sanderson really writes, and it was really solid. And I do enjoy it in that way. It is very good, <clears throat> like that. And it was a fun read for me. It's not what I would expect from Sanderson, but it's very very solid. Like, it's not what I would expect, but it uh, it was very good. So um, and then but one of my criticisms is a very unpopular opinion, actually. So, a lot of people love the magic system. I thought it was bland. Compared to Mistborn and Stormlight Archive, this is not really there for me, honestly. Like, that's just, like, how it's gonna be. I'm... I didn't... I thought it was bland. I thought it was cool with the breath thing, but other than that, like, I was like, cool? How was that that best? I was like, that was... That was cool. And, uh, like, I did not... I was not interested... I wasn't really addicted to reading the Ars Arcanum, which is, like, in Mistborn, the magic system is so cool. I'll spend, like, hours looking at, like, what the medals mean, and, you know, so I wasn't, I didn't really care. <laughs> so, that was, that, that that happened. That was one of my major criticisms. That's what brought this book down a lot for me. <laughs> so, I, I know it's very unpopular. So, I don't know. <clears throat> and an, another thing about this book is, um, the cover is one of the worst. I mean, it kind of represents this book, but, I mean, I don't know. That's one of my worst Brandon Sanderson covers out of all. And, oh, yes, that's what I was going to say. Now that I've read more Cosmere, Cos, I don't know why I like to call it Cosmere. It's Cosmere. Now that I've read more Cosmere, I am more, like, I'm starting to see the interconnections with Mistborn and... Stormlight Archive, I would see yeah, Easter eggs or like something like that. I would see Hoyd. Hoyd was in this book as well. I would see Hoyd in a couple books and just like a bunch of little Easter eggs, a bunch of little throw-ins. But I didn't really see major connections because I hadn't read a lot. Now I started to see big connections. And I know a brand instance conformed. A certain object in this was a certain object in Stormlight Archive. Not going to say because of spoilers. But um, yes, um, that's you kind of kind of see all this thing going on and it's fun that's fun this being in the cosmere i also read elantris and i'm seeing more stuff from here and that's crazy i just really really enjoy doing that like and i can't wait to read mistborn era 2 and the stormlight novella then the mistborn novella and what else am i not read in the cosmere i'm reading elantris of the two standalones right now i can't i can't remember for the life of me for some reason uh, so, I kind of want to do more Cosmere videos. This is another one. I really, really liked it. I would give it a four. 
I thoroughly enjoyed it. Wasn't perfect, and it was. I definitely like this way better. I'm not done with Elantris, but I love it way better than Elantris. Elantris is leaning towards a two or a three star for me. I'm just warning you, I didn't like it. I'm not liking it, so. It's just full on warning, and Warbreaker, I did enjoy a lot. So, and I know he has like a sequel coming out. Not like, I don't know if it's. Uh. Like, it's on Goodreads, and it doesn't have a cover, but it's, like, unofficially marked on Goodreads. And I will be reading that. I'm excited for that. So, Warbreaker is very good. I would recommend it, but it's not my favorite in the Cosmere. The Co Cosmere, I think it's either Words of Radiance or Way of Kings for the best one. Then it's Mistborn, and then it's Oathbringer, and then it's Hero of Ages, then it's... No, I like Rhythm of War better than Oathbringer. So then it's Rhythm of War, then it's Oathbringer, then it's Hero of Ages, then it's Well of Ascension, then it's this one, and then it's Elantris. So, but still, all of those books I mentioned before Warbreaker, I mean, after, yeah, before Warbreaker, were all five stars, so. Except for Well of Ascension, so, but, like, it's really not saying anything, so. Elantris is the only one I really didn't like of the Cosmere so far. Or, I'm not, I can't, not done, so I can't say I don't like it yet, but yeah, that was my review for Warbreaker. I definitely really should give it a read, so see you in the next video.